Hi, this is Joanne Mayer. I am going to show you how to create paper bag puppets and articulated paper dolls in the shape of dogs. You will find three different models of dogs in the document. Print or photocopy the patterns on colored construction paper. Then cut out the different body parts of the type of dog you want to create. Let's start with a paper bag puppet. You will need a paper sandwich bag. Put white glue on the pattern of the body and glue the body in place on the long part of the paper bag. Lift the flap of the bottom of the paper bag and glue the lower jaw in place. Then glue the inside of the mouth with the teeth centered on the lower jaw. Now put white glue on the bottom of the bag and glue the head in place. Align the bottom of the head with the lower jaw. Glue the ears to the top of the head. You can glue a spot of another color on the dog's face. That will give a special look. Glue the eyes in place. You will find eyes to cut out in the patterns, but you can replace them with googly eyes. Glue the nose in place. You can replace the nose with a pom-pom or button if you prefer. If you want, you can draw whiskers on the dog's muzzle. Glue the forelegs to the upper body. And now, glue the hind legs on the bottom part of the body. You can personalize the dog if you want. You can add a color and a tag. You can also put a bone in his mouth or add a tongue that hangs out of his mouth. Turn the puppet over. If you feel like it, you can also glue a tail to the back of the puppet. Your puppet is now complete and ready to talk. Instead of creating a paper bag puppet, you can make an articulated paper doll. In this case, you will not need a paper bag, but you will need brass fasteners. Proceed as for the puppet. Start by printing the patterns and cut them out. Take the patterns of the head and ears. Mark where you are going to pierce the ears. Make holes with small pointed scissors. Then place the ears on the head of the dog and mark a dot to know where to attach the ears on the head. Make holes in the pattern of the head. Pass a brass fastener into the hole of the ear and then into the hole of the head. Turn the head over and spread the legs of the brass fastener on the back of the head. Proceed in the same way for the second ear. The brass fasteners will make the ears mobile. Punch a hole in the nose and mark the point on the body to attach the head to the body with a brass fastener. Insert the brass fastener through the two holes and spread the tines at the back of the body. Glue the nose on the brass fastener to hide it. Now, glue the eyes in place. Attach the front legs to the upper body with brass fasteners and proceed in the same way with the hind legs. You get an articulated paper doll whose head, ears and legs move. You can glue the tail to the back of the body if you wish. Have fun creating the three models of dogs. The heads have slightly different shapes. So if you are creating the paper bag puppets, match the right pattern of the lower jaw with the corresponding head. However, you can interchange the ears if you prefer other models of ears. Use the paper bag puppets and the articulated paper dolls to illustrate stories or rhymes to the delight of children. To print the document with illustrated instructions and patterns, Click on the link below the video and visit the AnimaPlates website to find hundreds of other fun and educational projects 